I want to go live on something today, and this would be about the Boys and Girls Club. So let me just set this up here. I can't find my selfie stick anywhere. So here we go. Sorry, I know I look like hell today. I usually do. Um, I'm sick. So just, I, it's like an upper respiratory infection or something. So yeah, I want to start today off with a little history on corruption in the Boys and Girls Club. Um, this has been going on since, I believe, like, possibly the early 70s, if not before. Um, and I can find documents and, you know, like, YouTube stuff and like that to show, not documents because I'm not on my computer, but I can show you, like, YouTube and stuff like that. But you research yourself. There's been multiple alleged accounts of child sexual abuse through the Boys and Girls Club. Um, I happen to know someone very dear to me personally that has been molested through the Boys and Girls Club back in the 70s. Um, and that would be my father, honestly. And it has just pretty much destroyed his life. Um, you know, it, he's been messed in the head ever since, pretty much. Um, I don't know what that was all about. But, um, I, I don't know what that was about. I don't even think it was for us. Pluto, you better not pee in the house again. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and find a video on here to hopefully somebody else has exposed them already. Um, if not, I'll do a part two later to show you guys statistics. And in a little while, I'll also be doing this on Facebook where I get a lot more people that watch. Um, a lot more people will spread this. I'm hoping to spread this everywhere though because the CPS corruption and this child trafficking sex ring that's going on all throughout the world is not stopping and it's spreading rapid fire to the point that it could happen to you. It could happen to any of you at any time, unfortunately. Um, I only see, honestly, whoops, wrong thing. Why is it not working? Oh, exit, whoops. Exit, exit. Back, back. Okay, my computer's not working. Okay, I don't care. Get out of that. Thank you. All right, anyways. Oh, I forgot where I took off, you guys. Um, yeah, so yeah, the corruption with CPS and the child trafficking sex rings and stuff like that, like Pizzagate and stuff like that, it's not... It's not getting any better, you guys, since the 70s and stuff like that. Um, I literally had a vision last night, and I can't prove it or anything, but I literally had a vision, and I'm not going to say who or what, because that could get me in a lot of trouble without proof, but I had a vision that someone very dear to me was being taken turns with in a locker room at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, and I also had a vision of just basically a whole line of boys being molested through the Boys and Girls Club. Um, I'm known to have true, real visions of things that do happen. Um, and also, when this, this person that I know came to me as a child telling me how his penis hurts at three years old, I don't find that, um, you know, I find that as a, I don't, it's not that I don't, I said I, I do is what I meant to say, I'm sorry. I do find that as a red flag, a major red flag, as well as this person, um, you know, anus always being red and, and pain, in pain, always wanting to hold themselves from using the bathroom. I mean, these are all signs, telltale signs of sexual abuse in a child. When a child is holding themselves and not wanting to get to go to the bathroom, or when a child is getting upset when you're putting them down on the floor to change their diaper, that's a huge red flag. You know, and I don't know if anybody else takes that seriously, but that's a huge red flag. And, and also, the fact that the department has these certain children, I'm not going to say who, but they're very dear to me, because I don't want anybody to be like, oh, defamation of character or anything like that. But I personally, you know, I, know, I have experience in this, personally. And when a child is going through things like that, it's a clear telltale sign of sexual abuse and I know I used to work with children that's what I used to do before I started doing all that going through all this I was a special needs teacher assistant I was the potty training master that was my thing so if there was any signs of any type of you know problems like that 
we would talk to the parents about it or you know you know what I mean we don't CPS is not going to help your child I tell you that right now so if you think calling CPS when you think your child's being sexually abused it's not it they're not gonna help they'll take your child and sexual abuse that child more guaranteed and I'm not saying that to be cruel it's just the truth that's what the world has become um, when you're taking kids away from good parents and giving kids back to the parents that are on drugs, that's how you know this world has changed. Because they can't make money off of kids that are born with drugs in their system. That's why they don't want to sell them. They're considered damaged goods. But anyways, I'm going to go to YouTube real quick and try to find something on the abuse that's going on at the Boys and Girls Club. So I'm going to sit up here. Hopefully you guys can still see me okay. Like I said, I'm feeling kind of poopy today. Give us a little bit. Let's see, here we go. Let's see, Boys and Girls Club. And also, if any of you have any experiences through the Boys and Girls Club, don't be afraid to talk out. Don't let them put a gag order on you. That's illegal. Don't let anybody tell you, don't you dare talk about this. That's illegal as fuck. Anyways, I, sent, I tend to get sidetracked a lot you guys I do have ADD and I will not take their medication for it anymore so like a lot of you will joke about my teeth and shit but as well as the MTFHR I believe that Adderall fucked my teeth too boys and girls club child molestation because it does happen child molestation and watch YouTube probably won't have it oh actually they might okay so here's a few you guys seriously just a few um, I'm gonna reverse it so you guys don't see me and you see it here we go and if any of you from the boys and girls club are watching I really don't give a shit because I'm about to take your ass to federal court Turn it up something, guys. Sorry. Rewind it a little bit so you guys don't miss it. So you guys know it is saying the boys and girls club. Let's see this one. Um, I'm not sure where this one's located, but in Virginia Beach, there was a boys and girls club that did molest my father. 100%. I can tell you the name of the man that did it and everything. So I have proof of that one for sure. Girls Club of Central Florida Headquarters in Travel. You spoke to the suspect's wife about the accusations. Yeah, and I also spoke with the president of the Boys and Girls Club of Central Florida. He said that just this afternoon, because of information given to them by police, they have now decided to fire the suspect. But investigators say since the initial allegations, several other young people have come forward yeah. claiming that Johnson also touched them inappropriately. Now those allegations are being investigated as well. Sorry, if it's shaking, you guys, I couldn't find my selfie stick. 62-year-old Sylvester Johnson was denied bond after 11-year-old girl accused him of touching her inappropriately. His wife is defending him. Never, 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 never. He had a good, good record. How would you know, lady? Report, the assault happened at the Kissimmee Boys and Girls Club where Johnson works as a part-time assistant. I mean, I know you know him, but maybe you really don't know him, you know? You could... Okay, let me pause it real quick. You could literally know someone for years and never truly know them. Once again, sorry for the shaking. I couldn't find my selfie stick. This is just one incident right here of, of it. So let's go to the next one because we don't have to play the full clips. This is just a few, you know. I wish I had one on my father's case, but he's he's really afraid. He's really afraid to come out with it. The Boys and Girls Club of America has been arrested for molesting a young boy in Albuquerque years ago. Michael Spencer, who now lives in Texas, what a freak. Is accused of sexually assaulting the eight-year-old boy who lived near him. Investigators say Spencer also forced the boy to touch other boys. Oh man, come on. And that's the thing, that's what these reptiles are doing, you guys. These reptiles are literally stealing, robbing the children of their innocence by doing this. It's what they do. They're robbing children 
of innocence and putting dirty, evil things into these children because that's what happens. When a child is molested, then they have dirty thoughts in their head for the rest of their lives until they seek the correct therapy. Are you okay? Okay, I'm gonna stop this here for a little bit. Um, I'll be right back. Um, we have a little bit of a crisis, so I will be back, part two. Thank you so much for watching.